Hey friends, it's finally here, Alpha 20. It's on my screen, I can't believe it. It feels like a, a year and a half wait, which it basically almost was, but this is a huge update and I am looking so forward to exploring it all on my brand new system as well. Wow, is that the trader right there? Look at that, I think I found the trader already. And uh, we have a town right there too. We're right beside a town. So if you guys wanna follow along, you wanna know uh, what the settings and everything, go and check the top pin comment. I put it all there for you if you wanna generate the same world and play along with me in experimental. But let's get going here, guys. We're gonna be going vanilla for at least the first seven days and then we'll be starting making changes and building the base day one mod with your guys help so first thing i want to mention is how much smoother the roads look already even how they join up and stuff i'm, I'm impressed and the graphics pretty damn good it's feeling pretty smooth here i'm on the all high settings on my uh, 3080 ti so i'm expecting at least a little bit of performance but i'm not really getting any frame rate drops yet which is pretty damn exciting so let's get through all the basic stuff here of course it's gonna ask us to uh grab up some plant fibers may i take a mention here guys grass looks so much better look at this it has um three pieces to it now it used to be just a uh, a square like a, a plus sign but now it's a, a triangle so it actually adds that much more detail and look at this we got short grass too that is really damn awesome <laughs> i'm pretty pumped to see the rest of this um alpha has to offer us okay anyway let's go ahead and craft that bed roll up here of course it's going to highlight what we need and it seems that my mouse sensitivity is a little messed up. I may have to stop at some point and uh, readjust all that stuff. All right, so bed rolled down. And uh, cool thing this time around, if you like playing with other players or you just want some uh, different, you can actually tint your bed rolls now. So let's go ahead and pick that bed roll back up and take a look at it. So how would we tint that? Hmm. Let's go ahead, hold that open. Uh, it has a uh, shape simple shape okay so what shapes do we have ah here we go oh so you don't even need dye to do this you can just make your bed roll right off the bat whatever color you want oh that's awesome so now i have myself a green bed roll i like the color green green and blue are my favorites but damn even look at that texture too i love it nice nice changes finally starting to feel like a uh, current generation game so now it's going to ask us to gather a couple of small stones. And when I was watching the previews, they had little icons. Ah, there it is. They have these little icons now for all the beginners so they can actually tell uh, what they need to be gathering. I mean, really, anyone that's ever played a survival game should know what a small stone is. All right, got our axe done. And now it's going to ask us to do the classic plant, or plant fiber clothing. So I'm going to gather that stuff up and pick up these couple of nests here. Alright, got through the clothing. This stuff is actually all kind of boring. It'll ask us to make our basic weapons. I think this is actually one of the first things you should make. At least that way you have some sort of defense, right? In case you go wandering off out of the safe zone. So now we gotta uh, do the bow and arrow. One thing I'd like to mention here, guys. Uh, this might be a new change, but this boulder here is actually broken down through one of its stages. I haven't touched this yet, so this was sitting here just like this. So maybe we'll see a lot more variation in the boulders and stuff that we find around the, uh, the wilderness. All right, digging down the tree here. The next quest says start a base. So this is a major change here in Alpha 20. We got to make something called a frame shapes. Okay, let's go ahead and craft one of those up. <laughs> I guess this is a uh, maybe a placeholder. The, uh, the icon looks a little odd. No, okay, so I guess the icon is a white cube and then it has the OSB, the, uh, the texture in the background. So this is your starter cube now uh, for building. Wow, base building's gonna be so much different this time around. So let's go ahead and uh, I guess place that down and it is a solid block. Okay, well, let's go ahead, find out how much that has. So it has 100 hit points. That is not very much at all. The zombies could get through that really easy. So let's give that an upgrade. There we go. So it upgrades from OSB to uh, to wood. Wow, that is that's so crazy looking. It's like it's like a whole new game. All right, campfire is next. And just because it's tradition, ever since they added these uh, sequence of quests, I'm gonna go ahead and put the campfire on top of here. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, now, can I? No, you can still just use it. You can never pick them back up again, which is a little silly because it's just a bunch of rocks, right? Okay, so it's going to ask us now to locate the trader, and well, it's, 
that's super easy. It's right there. So now, from what I understand, food is actually really, really hard to come by. Ooh, we're gonna have to make some more arrows here. Uh, food is really hard to come by this time around. So they've kind of brought the survival aspect of uh, starting out back. So anytime I see meat, I should probably take a chance or uh, take some time, sorry, and kill it. Like I just saw a chicken. There it is, where is it? It's right over there. And uh, apparently there's less animals, but I see two chickens right in my sights right now. We've got one down. Uh, we need a good knife too. Is there any bones on the road? Not that I can see from here. So what, what we'll do then is just, you know, take care of the chicken. Chicken down, not too bad. Fair trade for uh, one arrow. We got, uh, what, oh, that's six raw meat from one chicken. Okay, and for grilled meat, it, uh, we actually cannot see the recipe. For, for charred meat, we still need five raw meat. So one chicken with an ax will actually give you uh, one chunk of meat, which, you know, kind of actually makes sense. Uh, unless those chickens are very large, you don't get a ton of meat out of one chicken. All right, let's go ahead and give this uh, trader a visit here. I haven't yet to see a zombie. We must be in the safe area still. Uh, that's pretty damn cool. You need assistance? What is up, Trader Joel? It's good to see you here in Alpha 20. Uh, a little weird. It's been a very long time since I've seen you, Joel. I took a break from the game. May I see your inventory? Do you have any jobs? So let's go, never mind. It's just asking us to talk to him. And uh, we completed that quest, which leaves us with four skill points. Think right away, guys, what we'll do is uh, we'll do a little bit of looting. Looting is 10% faster, 5% loot bonus. So we're going to have to put uh, a couple more points here into, uh, into perception. But I think loot bonus here right off the bat is going to be huge because I need myself some food and stuff so we don't die from starvation. Okay, so we're going to come back. We're not going to take a look at the jobs and stuff. Uh, you know what? Let's actually uh, do a job. Tier 1 fetch. Look at these guys. They're not 1.5 1, 1. kilometers away. They're actually really, really close. So we got a tier 1 clear zombies. Really it's 55 meters away at a gas no station 11. What, so it's right next great. door. Right next door. At this Jerry's Phil. Oh, look at this place. There are so many new POIs to check out, guys. That's new. That's new. I just, I see so much new. I'm going to have a new overload here. Well, we need a place to stay. So I guess we're going to be staying on top of this gas station for the night because we're going to be tearing it down anyway. So let's go ahead, hit that exclamation mark. There we go. And that should have started the building. Now I'm going to assume this is going to be a little easier because uh, we're like level one. We don't, we don't have much going on. So holy crap, guys, check it out. Okay, I got to be careful here for sleepers and stuff. There's one right there. We actually don't even have that many arrows either. But look at this. These are new. These were never here before. These are so cool. Okay, let's, I guess, go in the garage here and make our way through, of course. Taking out the sleepers as we go. Still easy enough to one-shot them. I'm going to sneak right by them here. Probably do a lot of sneaking this time around, too. One thing I do want to change, guys, in base day one, is make a lot more zombies outside and fewer zombies inside. So you'll you'll kind of like go from building to building, right? It's um, a city design. I want you to pretty much be uh, stuck in the cities for survival. Okay, well, looks like there's really not too much up in here. What do we have over here? Oh, look at this, guys. A new, a new trash container. These used to be just like, I think just a pile of rotten stuff and now spoiled trash actually has like a nice little box on it. Oh my God, there's gonna be so much to check out. Okay, so there's a pile of stuff there that's going to make some noise if I walk over it. So let's, uh, let's go ahead, get rid of that. And I know it sounds silly, but opening a door, I don't think, alerts the sleepers at all. So, let's go around the corner. Uh, oh boy. Okay, they're awake now. You definitely know I'm here, I think. Where are you guys at? I'm trying to go over all the loud stuff here. Glass over there. Oh, they know I'm here, guys. They're feral, so... They're awake, too. Oh, there's the old sleeper, guys. Look at him. He's walking now. Whoa, it's so weird to see the sleeper walking. That is crazy. 
What? Or the sleeper. I'm sorry, the spider walking. That's crazy. So he's not an actual spider anymore. It still seems like he has a, a little bit of spider-ish animations. It's so weird to see him straight up. Good for you, though, dude. Good for you being able to walk now. He, he was always on your hands and your legs. I think it's a, I think it's a step up. Although you lost your, your specials, I, I think it's a good thing. Okay, so we got those two zombies down. I guess we can go ahead and uh, do some searches. So apparently water and food is a lot tougher to come by now. So we definitely want to keep our looting too to these uh, really small places, maybe stores and homes, uh, just to get our basic early game goods because I still think maybe looting a really long POI is still not worth it. Unless we're in a different biome, of course, with the new loot stage. Okay, well then, uh, what do we have back here? I think I got them, so we should be good. We have a passing gas box, a couple of those. Garbage can, which we can't use. I'm gonna get these cracked open. Okay, so we got a car parts box going on over here. We got a ooh, iron tool schematic. Let's go ahead and use that. That's a nice little thing to have right away. And another one up here. Oh, iron sledgehammer, nice. And I think we can read these right out of the container. Yep, we can use them. So this gives a vehicle off-road headlights mod schematic. Oh, nice. We don't have a vehicle, but when we do, that's a nice one to have. All right, give the desk a search. And what is this? Oh, is that our gothic boots? You know what, we gotta wear them. We got nothing on anyway, so throw on them gothic boots and uh, we're good to go. Okay, I think I got everything inside. Yeah, let's go ahead and check the outside here. What's down over this way? Destroyed. Oh, look at that, guys. This is incredible. Like, this building actually looks like it belonged there at one point. Like, it's right beside it. That, oh, how these buildings and stuff line up is going to be absolutely wild. Okay, so we got that out of there. Let's go ahead. There's probably a sleeper back here. No. No, but there are some supplies. Oh, speaking of, guys, save your pipes. We need those for pipe weapons, and that's how you repair them, so uh, very, very, very important. Oh, there's a bathroom in there I didn't check. And a fridge? I'm not being very thorough. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Right up here. There we go. i got to get used to seeing these now. Uh, spoiled trash. Okay. Awesome. Let's go ahead and break into that bathroom, then. So there is absolutely nothing in the bathroom, just garbage and stuff. Didn't really miss out too much. Now, let's take a look here. So we can get up that way, or we can also get up that way. I think maybe going up this way is the best option. That way we can see all around, because there's definitely some sleepers going on up here. And most likely, if I know the Fun Pimps Builders, there is trash sitting right... Oh, no. They can't actually put it on the catwalk, so we won that one. Okay, I do see an ammo pile over there. There we go. And I do see a sleeper just off to the side. So let's go ahead. One shot down. Oh, damn it. Oh, is this a new stripper zombie? Oh, it is too. Look at her. Check that out. Some new reskins. That is pretty damn cool. It's, it's almost, almost too close, if you know what I'm saying. Don't really want to concentrate too much on that, though. What's this? Look at this wood crate. Whoa, this is cool. They definitely have to do something with these then if this is what's going to be sitting next to them. But that looks incredible. Holy crap. So we got some ammo. We got the first aid bandage. That is good things. There we go. Sure chat trash. Okay, cool. Oh, medical pile. We're starting to get a little overweight too. So we'll, we'll have to make like a, uh, a drop box or something. Actually, this is the place we're going to be staying on. Uh, so... Oof, it's going to be a little tough too. There's two ways up here. I might have to take out that ladder right there and maybe... Oh, can I even block this one off? No, I can't put a hatch here. Uh-oh. Oh, maybe I can go down there and get some time and break one of the ladder blocks. All right, let's crack this bad boy open. So we got an oil recipe, definitely don't need that yet, but we're learning a lot. And bicycle handlebars, oh, those are going to be uh, very handy. I want to get on a bicycle as soon as possible. And oh, look at this, guys. This path up here, oh, this definitely breaks. This definitely breaks when you run over it. Oh, no, it didn't. 
Either that or I was too fast, but this OSB stuff, that, that's got to be new. I haven't seen that before. Ah, look at the spider climbing the ladder over there. That's funny. Okay, and in here we got, oh, what looks like a little bit of a lab going on. How would we get out of this place? I wonder if the door is on the ends open. These are so cool. I've never seen canisters. See, like sea canisters, I think you call them. Sea cans. Yeah. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't seen those in seven days of duck. It's nice when you see new assets. All right, there we go, old spider. I have taken you out of your misery. Let's go ahead and uh, drop in here. Oh, oh, look at this, guys. Oh, no. The mesh is bad there. I can't hit him. Did I wake him? Oh, wait, that's not even a zombie. That's just a body. Whoops. Ooh, can I get bones from this? I can. Nice. Let's see if I can make a knife now. One bone knife, coming up. So I'm definitely noticing I'm getting a lot more attention here, and that's because, like I said, the zombies are feral, so they know I'm over here from a uh, long distance. So not only are we going to have to clear out the, the POI, we're going to have to take care of any zombies that are also uh, in the area. So here's our answer. Yeah, you definitely don't have to. Uh, uh, you definitely don't have to open a door on these. The side is broken out. Okay. Well. Let's continue on. We just got to clear out right over here now. Apparently there's uh, one zombie probably chilling out. Chilling out up over here. What's up? There we go. Looks like a maintenance dude. You're going to come down? Uh, he's, uh, oh, whoa! Dude jumped off. He's suicidal. What is this? That looks like a new texture of something or other. Okay, he's down. We got ourselves a big old angry guy over here, but let's give this guy a slappy slap. Ooh, there goes his head. <laughs> All right, what's up, big guy? I can't wait to see the new uh, dismemberment stuff, guys. I think it's going to be pretty crazy. There we go, maybe one of those to the head. Gain a little bit of stamina back and power swing on this guy. Nice. Okay. Did we clear it? We definitely cleared the POI, so let's go get the loot up here. Uh, I need a another stone. See, that almost looks like a stone. I tried picking that up. Hmm. Okay, whatever. All we have up here is an old trash kind of sitting around, and uh, I do believe that's actually all. Okay, so this is our place now. For the night so we know they can definitely get on that ladder and i don't know if the two uh block trick works but we'll definitely try that and it looks like there's uh some hidden loot under here too there we go what do we got some foul trash ah that's the old trash i think oh no no that's definitely a new one okay let's go see joel guys i almost jumped right into that do you see that barbed wire there almost right into that stuff <laughs> look at this zombie hey you're doing it wrong. Can I hit her head through this? Oh, I can too. Oh, that stuff's actually rather easy to destroy. Oh, there we go. Stupid zombie. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. She just fell over. I thought she was done dead. Now she's dead. You know how I can tell? The XP came up in the corner. So there's stuff for us to search over here too. What do we have? Oh, both of those are destroyed, damn it. Sometimes you get real lucky and find uh, a lot of stuff at the trader that's actually working but not this time around damn it uh the workbench actually i think would have been key Your money is oh look at this guys here. these shelves in here you can search these too check it out there we go i got a lock pick out of that one got that holy crap i almost missed that we'll check out that one too nice there you go i stole stuff off your uh, shelves Many joel thanks. how do you feel about you that proved to be very resourceful oh here's your pay okay so we got uh, 3,000 XP, 800 Duke's Casino tokens. That's actually pretty generous early game. And 10 Molotov cocktails. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say yes on that one. Okay, so I'm going to sell a few things off here. We definitely don't need all of this. There we go. So I think that's all I'm pretty much willing to sell right now. Really didn't make too much at all. Time. But let's take a look at the prices here. We have to hurry back over to our house for the night. But uh, let's take a look at the prices here for food at the trader and see if they change the vending machine and the trader prices. So a can of stock goes for about 120. And that's all the food I can really see. Well, there's on always him, so. up the road. You can try a little. 
Yeah, there is. I know. You heard me complaining about your food prices, right? They're always higher than these vending machines here. Uh, so, yeah, like a large uh, beef ration is only 60. Chicken ration, 60. We'll, we'll buy all of these up for sure. And uh, these, I never used them last season really too much, but you know what? Oh, they're 100. Let's leave those alone for now. And we'll just take the foodstuffs. We got to get our butt back over to the other place. I got to get a storage on top. And oh, look at that. Right in there for me to kill. Oh, nice. That's satisfying. I love headshots. All right. Let's get on top of this place over here again. Oh, I forgot to mention this. I'm out here looking for a stone because I need to repair this stupid thing here. Uh, oh, look at that. I got 26 in a garbage bag. Who throws out rocks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a waste of plastic. Uh, anyway, look at this fence, guys. And there's several different versions. It's like a full one, one with it falling down. Oh, that is so cool. This is also a brand new asset. Neat. This is, this is definitely a brand new POI. Or, actually, I think this might be an older POI that's been revamped. I can't tell. If you guys let, if you guys know, let me know down in the comments. Okay, so I'm going to take, I think... Uh, that ladder down completely and take one off of here. So let's get this stuff dumped first. I'm gonna put it into this. Wow, look at look at the the health that this wood crate has. Two thousand health. Holy crap, that thing's invincible. Definitely the best place to put all of our goodies here. There we go, goodies gone. So we got to take care of this stuff, uh, namely this one here first. I guess we'll find out tonight if the zombies can jump up two spaces. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. I just drank a bottle of water and uh, the stamina game actually wasn't too frustrating at all. That's one thing I do have to say this time around. Not really playing too much of a stamina game. That's, I think, something I really didn't like early, early game. Like, stamina should be an issue, yeah, but it seemed like it was the issue the last couple of alphas. So I don't really feel that way this time. Honestly, feel like I'm making some decent progress here on day one. So there we go. We should be able to get up here now, and they should not be able to get up here. So for full testing purposes, to see if the two blocks thing works, we'll uh, leave this uncapped. I guess, uh, oof, a thousand. Yeah, I'm not getting through those at all. So what time is it here? 17.35. We have some more time here, guys, to go and do some more exploring. So let's go and grab another job from Joel over here and see where that leads us. Before we do that, though, we definitely have to loot this stuff. I was leaving it behind because uh, my inventory was rather full, but we just ended up getting literally a bunch of junk out of the deal. Oh, bedroll. I got to make one of those. Oh, look at this. We actually found some concrete mix inside the cement mixer. Very, very helpful. Now let's go see Joel about a job here. So we still have a whole bunch of tier one stuff. We have tier one clear zombies. Uh, this one here, tier one fetch, is 135 Can meters me southeast. Oh, it's a funeral home, zero one. So I wonder if this one's actually been redone. Uh, they have done a lot of the old uh, POIs. As far as I know, they've actually redone all of the city POIs. Oh, there it is right there. The Am I Gone Funeral Home. What have they done to you? Oh. It definitely looks like it's been retextured. I think, is this a brand new texture right here too? That, that is. I, I don't think I'm going crazy here. Guys, we're looking at, we're looking at a brand new texture. Oh, that's sick. This place looks so nice done up like that. I like it. Okay, uh, it's 1832. I don't think we actually have time to go and, uh, and completely, like, do the quest. Although it's just, it's just a retrieve. You know what? Let's do it. It's 1900. I think we have time, guys. Uh, how far away are we from this thing? Well, let's find out, guys. Let's round up the uh, the gang here and make a little bit of a mess. There we go. So it's over this way, apparently. Uh, over this way a little further, I guess. Oh, boy. Here we go. I don't want to get stuck in this place with a whole bunch of zombies. I thought I heard you outside. Ooh. That hurt. A little dent in that guy. All right, time for the good old bow and arrow to cut. Oh no, no! Oh, 
that is not the bow and arrow. Did I, though? I don't actually have any bows or arrows left. Yeah, we definitely have to stop for some stone here, too, before the end of the night. And I gotta actually stay within the POI, too. Holy crap. There. Oh, no! Oh, no! Ooh, things are getting serious here, guys. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I think I can hit multiple zombies at a time, so uh, to uh, preserve my stamina, let's get a few of them booked up. Oh, and completely miss. <laughs> there we go. One is down. Holy crap. Let's keep these guys walking around here a little bit, I guess. Boom. Okay, well, that hurt. Definitely put a dent in her. Ah, uh, there we go. We got the other one on that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, holy crap, guys. Holy crap. That was almost the cart. Oh, no. No, lady. Flee. Okay, there we go. Holy crap. So I'm going to crouch here for a second, get my stamina back a little quicker. And uh, I'm hungry already. I'm a hungry, hungry guy. Whoa, I hit the nurse but missed this guy? That's not how it's supposed to be done. Okay, he's still not dead. Oh, this hunger issue doesn't make it any easier. There we go. All I gotta do is just retrieve the supplies here, guys. We got time. We got time. Okay, one more, and I think we got this. At least for now. Keep my eye out. Okay. So stamina is still an issue early game. But I think it's a lot more manageable this time around. That's what I really like about it. Okay, so is it in here? Oh, it's in here. Oh, that's so easy. There we go. Quest done and done. Let's uh, search these caskets and stuff. Caskets have always been really good loot. Oh, look at these caskets. These are new too. Oh, nice. And you got different colors. You got white, you got blue. Oh, that's cool. Nice little changes, guys. It's the little things that really, really add up in the end, right? Here we go. Okay. Guys okay, standing up over there. Got to search that toilet. Sometimes, uh, maybe, hopefully, we can find a handgun in there. You never know. I do believe that's uh, a thing in Alpha 20. Okay. Oh, well, may as well give the whole place a loot here. We still got a few more minutes. Got a casket over here. Some doit in it. Who uh, who puts dirt in a casket like that? That's a little weird. Wooden chest. Holy crap, there's actually something in the wooden chest. Nice. All right, well, that concludes that. It's uh, 1950. There's probably a few more zombies kicking around in here. We don't have um, any arrows. Oh, you know what we do need to do? Whoa. What we need to do is actually get some more supplies before night's over. I need, I need some more stone, I think. We need to make some more arrows here. I left everything back at home up in the storage over there. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that was cool looking. By the way, that's a brand new textured zombie as well. Okay, so we got this over here. We'll search all of this stuff quickly. Oh, I got a gold nugget! That should sell to the trader pretty well. Spoiled trash. Okay, well, pretty much a smash and grab this place. All the zombies outside know I'm in here, so they're coming for me. Here we go. Okay. Let's get out of here. I'm going to go pound some stone, and we'll get on top of the place for the night. All right, guys, so we're on top of the place here. Nice and hopefully safe for the night. We'll find out. We got to get ourselves some eat here, and thank God I was actually able to buy some of that vending machine because I'm awfully hungry. It's a lot to keep up with. So let's get our basics together here. We, of course, have to build ourselves a uh, campfire, so we should have what we need on us to make one. There we go. Basic foodstuffs. There we go. Switch everything over to that container, and holy crap, guys, look at all this stuff we've gotten here in uh, just a matter of a day cycle. We're, we're doing really, really well. We've even gotten a couple of sledgehammers, too, so that comes in real handy. So I'm just about to get my stuff together to here to make some stone arrows, guys. I've noticed, look at this, box of stone arrows. So you get this from doing the ranger's guide completion. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, that's quite a bit. Seven. Okay. Uh, build bulk craft arrows and bolts. Damn, that would be really handy early game. Not so sure that I, when I have this unlocked, I'm actually going to be making use of the stone box of arrows. 
or the, yeah, you guys know what I'm saying. The box of stone arrows, there we go. So I hope the fun pimps kind of uh, pay attention to that as far as a loot progression goes, because it'll be completely useless at that stage. So I guess the most prudent thing to do here is maybe take out a few of our, our zombie friends uh, before nighttime happens, because we got two kind of chilling around down there. So while that's making up here, let's go ahead and take a look at our pipe stuff. This stuff is unlocked right off the bat, and it actually should be rather easy to make. Looks like we'll need uh, some leather here for the, the pipe baton. I, I, did I grab any of that? I don't think so, because we just killed a chicken. Yeah, no leather. We can also uh, bang out a couch too. I do believe those will give us some. I think right away though, what I'm gonna do is go for the pipe pistol. Nice little uh, side gun. So for that, we're gonna need short iron pipes, glue, and wood. Do we have that? I know I grabbed one glue at least, I do believe. Ah yes, we have three glue. Uh, we have a couple iron pipes and we have the wood. Oh, nice. Okay, so ammo. Let's go ahead and check that out. Yes, we do have some 9mm ammo going on, too. So we got two of four. Oh, we need some more pipes. Okay, we'll, we'll concentrate first thing on the morning with that, then. So I'm kind of killing the night cycle here, and I went to put down my land claim block, and I think maybe I'm too close to the trader. It won't let me put it down at all. Which is okay, because I don't, I don't really think I'll have to pick up too much over here this way. But it looks like it, it's just within the reach of there. So maybe if I put it in a kind of a stupid spot for it. There we go. I put it right there. Oh no, I wonder if that's going to make a bridge for the zombies to get to me. <laughs> Imagine they got up there and started jumping over. Whoops. That would not be a good choice. There's definitely a few of them down there just kind of kicking away at stuff. Good thing we emptied it all out first. So what I'm doing is going through my inventory here, kind of spending the night cycle, being nice and as quiet as possible so I don't get too much attention, and get my inventory organized. So I'll see you guys early in the morning. I don't think too much is going to happen tonight. So I'm saving this waypoint here where the trader is. Let's go ahead and make that waypoint real quick. I, I'll, I'll be able to recognize it on the map, but look at the roadways, guys. How they look on the map. Isn't that cool? All the little details in them. You can see like sidewalks and little barricades and uh, there's street lamps and everything. I wonder if any of those street lamps are actually on. There's a light in front of us, which is actually really, really nice. But I don't think I see any of the street lights on. That would be crazy if like a random one here and there did it. Because I, I could believe that. Maybe some of them are solar powered, you know what I mean? They're kind of still half operating. Uh, I think that's that's believable. Okay, so we got a zombie over there. Apparently that over there, that far away, is not feral. Or is she headed right over here? Oh. Yep, that's definitely a way increased distance. Oh no, she's wandering around, so we're good. So what that is then, it's it's actually the markings in the roadways. Like look at this, we got one, two, three, four length on, or uh, four lane right here. Oh, that is so cool how everything blends together. I know it's a little dark, guys, I apologize. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to kill them right here. Oh my god, there we go. Okay, so the feral sense being on doesn't really send them from too far away, but Makes it a little bit harder to hide, I guess. Oh, and guys, check this out. It is morning time. Here we go. 4 a.m. And there's a battle. Holy crap, that uh, took forever to come through. So, basic settings for everything, guys. Like, the day cycles are all the same on default. But we got ourselves a nice little crowd of zombies going on down there now. Holy crap. So, let's go ahead and jump down and see what we got going on. Probably clear these guys out. Uh, looks like this. <laughs> oh my god, the new crouching animation. Look, he got stuck. We'll have to go and check that out. Looks like maybe. Whoa. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh my god. Guys, check it out. Check it out. Whoa. It's one of the new spider zombies. Holy crap, that thing is terrifying. Whoop. That was a swing and a miss on that one there. Oh, there we go. Got him right in the face. Two in the face. Three in the face. Holy crap, guys. I did not see that one coming at all. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. I wish I... Can I flip him over? Is there any way to flip him over? No, I can't. But, like, look at that spine going down his back. Ew. Oh, that is wild, though. So that... All that noise... 
that. There's only like three zombies. Just three zombies. When we get a level, guys, I gotta get some uh, XP and stamina usage too, or some points of stamina usage. That'll help us out greatly here early game with our weapons and whatnot. But I, I do think we're gonna be switching to mostly ranged here pretty damn soon. Okay, so what's this guy doing over here? He's trying to break. Check this out, guys. Check this out. You can hit zombies through broken stuff now, by the way. So if you're like trying to get them through it, that is so crazy. So this must be one of the bugs that they said they were trying to fix, right? Maybe they released a little early and uh, didn't get around to getting this bug completely fixed. But check this out. What are you guys doing? Uh, definitely not doing it right though, whatever you're doing. Oh! Our first zombie loot. What do we get? Holy crap, 48 ammo, brass trophy, painkillers, padded boots, and a nice primitive bow. One that's actually higher level than the one we have now. That is sick. Okay, so it looks like their new crouching animation gets them stuck stuck up in blocks. I almost feel bad for this guy. I'm taking advantage of the situation here. There we go. Well, if you can't zombie right, then I guess it's your own fault. You know what? Let's give him a good old smack down here. There we go. Oh, he's... Now he's dead. Nope. He's still... Uh, what in the... Whoa! What just happened there? Yeah, their, their animations and stuff uh, seem to be a little buggy. But you know what? It's experimental, guys. That is completely to be expected. There we go. Holy crap, that was fun to clear out. Anyway, I was not expecting that spider zombie. I totally forgot they actually changed the skin for the spider. That was, uh, that was wild. Although I said it earlier in the video. Okay, uh, Trader Joel's is not open yet. It's only 5 a.m. Uh, he opens at 6. So I'm going to do myself a little bit of a favor here and start doing some basic gathering. So I do have a couple of points available, guys. So I'm going to go ahead, sink one into T-Rex, and then another one into Strength, so that we can get the, the second level of T-Rex when it comes. Yeah, level three. Uh, they really make it worth it, but when you don't run out of stamina as fast, you don't die as often. Now I just want to say, guys, while I'm pounding away here, normally with day, base day one, what the objective is and what it will be here in the uh, in the stable playthrough, the main playthrough, is you got to build a base on day one, right? You can't really stay on POIs too much. Uh, we just did that kind of to get through the first night. I have to get used to the building system as well. We're gonna have to take a look into that. So uh, that's it's gonna be tricky, guys. With the, the zombies being feral, uh, you know, we might have to build the base outside here. We'll have to figure some stuff out. That's It's a, definitely a lot different this time around, but I think it'll be a lot more challenging. So what I'm going to have to get from you guys is we're going to need a lot of input. I'm going to need a lot of help. So if you guys are into modding, building POIs, uh, I'm going to need city sections because what I want to do is three different cities uh, all walled in. So um, you'd have to go from city to city to city into the hider. I guess uh, the cities we can call a biome. We'll need to make different biomes for them and make them more difficult but more rewarding as you go through the cities, right? So base day one inside the cities, you know, you start out in one city, you build your base there, take on your horde knights and figure, okay, it's time to graduate to the city second city now right so we got to figure out a real creative way of putting that all together i want headshots i want body shots not to count as well but it's a, a um <laughs> stuttering a little bit but it's easy to dismember the zombies right so uh, lots of zombies lots of headshots and make them a bullet sponge when it comes to like the chest area right so i think that would be pretty damn fantastic we'll get into more of that though as a play go as a playthrough goes through and i talk to you guys some more and get some more feedback on that of course and uh just a quick reminder to you guys if you haven't used the like button i would appreciate it it does help promote the content greatly so let's go ahead here and uh talk to mr trader joel he's going to either give us uh, some shotgun shell ammo or spear hunter volume 7. uh this is the second time i've gotten offered a book so you know what i'm gonna go with the shotgun shells i think they're much much more valuable at this point. So we got a whole bunch of new um, tier one stuff. We got a tier one buried supplies. Oh, we have to do a buried supplies, guys. We have to, we, can, we can't ignore that. So uh, I'll get a shovel together. Let's take a look on the map here and find out where it is. That's right up that way. It's not too far. 
We can go do that, guys. We have to do a buried supplies. They changed it, by the way. They made changes to the buried supplies stuff. I do believe now you cannot use TNT uh, to uh, mine them out quickly because it'll actually destroy the block itself. But uh, we'll find out what happens when I get there. <gasps> guys, check it out. Look at this. I found a deer. It's the first one I've seen so far in our playthrough. Unless I'm blind and you guys seen one earlier. But this is the first one that I've noticed. So let's go ahead. Ugh, barely. Guys, I can't seem to hit this thing. I've gone through a ton of arrows. But look at that. Like that, I, I think that should have hit it in the head, no? And that should have hit it in the body? I don't know what's going on here, guys. But it's, it's like I can't hit that deer from here. Damn it. Oh, what is this? We got three rifle parts, two steel uh, armor parts. Okay, we really don't need those. Probably sell those to the trader. I think they uh, would sell for a decent amount of money. I do believe like mods and stuff are, are worth quite a bit. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at those. It'll tell us. Yes, 80 for those, 90 for those rifle parts. Nice. So we are right here where it says our buried supplies quest is. So we'd actually have to start and activate the quest. I'm gonna take care of this uh, this guy over here. Almost thought that was a lady zombie at first. And let's go ahead and get this uh, quest going here. Look at that. Oh, you know what? I gotta, I gotta take another shot at the deer, guys. Yep, I don't know. I suck. There we go. Okay, so the yellow line is not that far out. But digging is going to take a ton of stamina and probably be a little bit of a uh, pain in the butt. Hey, old spider dude. What is up? Here we go. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and uh, start poking some holes in the ground then. I've only managed to get a couple holes dug over here and it almost feels like zombies are continuously coming after me. I've killed a couple now. There's one I just killed just now. And we have this guy coming at me here as well. So uh, I'm going to take care of him, but I'm going to keep an eye out. Because as you guys can see, I really don't see too many zombies around. So they may be spawning in. I haven't caught it yet, but if I do, I'll make sure I let you guys know. Well, the ring just got smaller, so I'm kind of feeling it's going to be more in towards the middle here. And I don't know how deep down these guys are anymore, so my old trick was is to just continuously poke two deep holes along the top. Sometimes the zombies would fall in them too as a little bit of a bonus, and uh, it'd be a little easier to take them out. But you always could go down two blocks and... Uh, see it. You'll see like a dent in the ground. You'll be able to tell where they are. So uh, we'll have to see if that's still a trick this time around. And we did just level up too. So let's go ahead and uh, check our points over here. We wanted to put another point into strength. There we go. And next level, we can put another point into athlete. Oh my god, guys. It just got dark out. I was like, whoa. Did it turn nighttime? And check it out. Whoa, look at this weather. Look at this fog. Oh, and now it's raining. Holy crap. Actually, I really like that transition uh, into the rain. That was really, really cool. Oh, and I'm cold now, too. Well, a weather challenge came back a little bit. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, my God, guys. So I have dug... A lot of this out as you can see already now this doesn't look like a lot but early game this is a lot of digging my digging is painfully slow now because um, I have reduced stamina from being hungry and and uh, being thirsty and on top of that I was also wet and cold for a while too so that didn't uh, do a very good job but I'm determined it's 10 52 a.m. already guys but I'm determined I want to find where this buried supplies is I need to know Well, it narrowed it down even more. So I guess this actually can conclude, I can conclude from this that the treasure is not necessarily to, uh, you know, you got to dig more than two blocks is what I'm trying to say. Holy crap, guys. It is deep down here. Where is this thing? Holy crap, guys. 
I could have done, I think, at least two clear quests from here. So unless there's some really good loot in here, some like some food, because I desperately need food and water. Oh, there it is. I finally found it. Holy crap. So how deep is that? That's got to be one, two, three, maybe four or five blocks down. Actually, we could solve that. One, two, three. Oh, no. I guess uh, we'll go four and then five. Yeah, it looks like it's about four or five blocks down. Okay, so this was a lot more challenging this time around. Uh, I'm gonna not gonna lie, and look at that, it's like right on the edge of it too. Is that even technically really in that space? Uh, who knows? Anyway, let's go ahead, grab it. Got a berry food stash, and of course, we're gonna have a bunch of zombies on our butts, so let's get out of there. Uh, no, actually, looks like we only got two, so maybe the quest is spawning in zombies. But it's a, a little more forgiving. There we go. Let's get rid of these guys here. May as well get that sweet, sweet XP. Nice. Oh, did you see that, guys? Oh, see that? That's some uh, the new dismemberment stuff. You can actually see his brains. <laughs> That's pretty damn cool. All right, here we go, lady. So this is one of the few zombies so far that actually has that function. All right, I'm going to get my butt back home because uh, I'm hungry and we need to get this dropped off. I'm going to say, guys, out of all the stuff I got out of there, I don't know if it was worth it. We'll see what the rewards are, though. And here we are, a home sweet trader, finally. Holy crap. Yeah, like I'm going to say, that one took uh, measurably long than the other ones, like the clear and, and the fetch. Those ones were really, really easy. So 2,500 XP, ouch. Uh, we did get, though, 109mm ammo. That's huge. Okay, so we're going to see if he has any more jobs. He's got some fetches here. Uh, let's grab the, the closest fetch. Cabin 03. So it looks like that's going to lead us, actually, uh, outside of the city. Just right up here. Uh, we got some room. Yeah, we still need some, some water. I'm going to drink that smoothie anyway. There we go. Can always use it anyway. I'm going to drop this stuff, actually, off at home. And then we'll go check out that cabin. Oh no, guys, I'm just looking at the time, and unfortunately, the timer is way up for this episode. I've gone crazy long. I just want to keep recording and playing and recording and playing all day long, which actually I'm probably going to do, so you guys will see a lot of these episodes back to back. Now, I want to welcome all you guys back. It's good to see some fresh faces again. If you're new to the channel, I want to say welcome as well. If you guys are looking for ways of uh, supporting me here, watching the video all the way through is probably the best way. Liking it, uh, sharing it is also a great way to do that too, and even leaving comments down below. If you'd like to support me in other ways, guys, there is my Etsy as well. I don't do merch because I don't have any slogans or anything and i'm not a fan of selling t-shirts and sweaters and stuff for like you get so little out of the end deal it's it's not even funny so if you guys want to check it out i make wooden stuff on etsy so my shop will be pinned in the top comment you can check all of this stuff there including the settings for this playthrough as well so once again guys please say hello if you're uh, coming back say hello if you're new as well too i'd like to get to know you and i'll see you in the next episode guys stay classy always back up them game saves and i'll see you later have a good one.